for a very long time, the body of Christ has been so much under attack. Under attack in such a way that there has been so many teachings that have been introduced into the body of Christ. Teachings that seek to elevate men more than they elevate Christ. Teachings and doctrines that are ungodly, demonic doctrines that have been introduced into the body of Christ. Bringing so much confusion to the flock of our Lord Jesus Christ. Where the church now does not know who to follow, what to follow, which one to follow, which one to believe and which one not to believe. I've come to tell you that in this day and time, it is time for us to stop following men and to start following Christ. It is time for us to do away with all the demonic doctrines, to do away with all the teachings that seek to take the position of Christ, all the teachings that seek to elevate men more than they elevate Jesus Christ. It is time for us to go back to the basics. It is time for us to go back to the word. It is time for us to go back to prayer. Let us go back to our first love. Let me take you quickly to the word of God. I want to open your eyes about something that I believe is going to change your life. For so many people have been running after gifts, running after prophecies, running after signs and wonders. But I want to remind you that all that is vanity, all that is vain. For on the last day, there shall be nothing about the gift, nothing about the prophetic, nothing about signs, miracles, and wonders. For a man shall stand before God and he shall give an account of his own life. On that day, I'm not going to stand as a prophet, but I'm going to stand as an individual. What is going to happen to thousands and thousands of people who I might have deceived in this world? It is time for servants of God to stand on the truth and stand on the word of God and preach this word without compromise and remind people that hell is real and hell is there. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse number 21 to 23, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Meaning to say it's not about the gift of the prophetic. It's not about how deep or how shallow you are in the prophetic. It's not about whether you can perform signs and wonders or not. But it is about are you doing the will of the Father? And the Bible goes on to say, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. It puts me at a point where I begin to realize that all these things of the prophetic, all these things of uh, so many people wanting to prophesy, so many people wanting to hear from God, they are not going to help you on the last day. But what is going to help you on the last day, what is going to take you to the place of eternity, what is going to help you on that day is the relationship you have with God right now. For so many people have gone after relationships with men They are so much worried about relationships with men, but they are not worried about having a relationship with God. You need to tighten your relationship with God wherever you are. If the Bible says, go back to wherever you were doing your lawlessness, because I never knew you, it worries me a lot, because it puts me at a point where I begin to ask myself, how many men of God are prophesying, casting out devils, and performing signs and wonders in the name of Jesus, but they are not recognized by the heavens, but they are not recognized by God. How many of those? It is time for the church to get back to Christ. That is why the other day I said you need to flee from a church that does not preach the uncompromised gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because before you know it, spiritually you are going to be a corpse. You will be dead spiritually. According to what I've just read here, the Bible says, On that day they will come to me, telling me that we prophesied in your name, but I will tell them I never knew you. The key word right there is never knew you, meaning to say, even when you were in the world performing signs and wonders and prophesying in my name, I still did not know you. And I will say, go back to wherever you were doing your evil works. Go back to wherever you were doing your works of lawlessness. Where it worries me the most and where my spirit grieves the most about the body of Christ is when I begin to think about this. When he says, go back to where you were doing your works of lawlessness, where is he talking about? 
He is not talking about the nightclub. He is not talking about the world. He is not talking about the Shabin, but he's talking about the church because the lawlessness is being practiced in the church right now and not outside the church. So the lawlessness of prophesying in his name and casting out demons in his name is going on right now in the church. For many will come and say, Lord, Lord, but not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will inherit the kingdom of heaven. My dear fellow men of God, my dear fellow prophet, pastor, apostle, bishop, whoever, wherever you are, are you in right standing with God? For on that day, on that day, there will be no title. All these titles will be stripped off from us. All these are prophetic titles, pastoral, evangelistic titles, bishops, archbishop, and everything. It shall be stripped from us. It is time. It is time for the preparation of the bride of Jesus Christ. For he is coming back for his bride. And the day that he comes back for his bride, it shall be like on the day where Jesus was talking about the ten virgins. Where the Bible says five of them were foolish and five of them were wise. Which ones are we going to be on that day? Are we going to be the wise virgins or we are going to be the foolish ones? Are we going to be those who had so much anointing and so much oil in such a way that they preserved their oil, they kept their oil because they knew that the oil will be needed on the last day of the arrival of the groom? Or we shall be like the other five who wasted the oil before the arrival of the groom. And when the groom arrived, the oil had run out and they were in the dark. And when they tried to knock, they were told to go back wherever they come from. A time is coming. Family, a time is coming. It is time for the preparation of the bride of Christ. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing right now, are you in right standing with God? How is your relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ? How is your relationship with God? You need to fix it. If you have fixed it already, this is my word for you. If you still want to fix it, this is my word for you. Wherever you are, I want you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me. Purify me. I confess all my sins and I believe in my heart that you are the Lord of Lords. Touch me, Lord, and change my life. For today, I am cleansed. I am washed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I am J. Israel, the voice of reason. Shalom.